Matt and Matt here with LFD Research. Now today, we have a video comparing the straight out of the 1800s double barrel coach gun that Uncle Joe told us that you should get instead of having a scary black rifle. Now, the ballistics on these are pretty significantly different when you go to terminal effects. Because 223556 versus buckshot or slug from a 12 gauge, there's a lot more energy coming out of that. I mean, sure, we got an 18 inch barrel here and it's got nice pretty wood and you've got this evil plastic and aluminum. Oh, scary military tan and black plastic and aluminum with so, a red dot sight. And so often they're called Barbie guns or Mattels mm -hmm. because of the plastic. But honestly, we know that there's issues on the terminal ballistics on these at distance. Yep. This thing, no There's a reason why the last couple of mass shootings where a 12 gauge was used, there was such a high body count as compared to one of these. Yeah. I mean, when you look at the footage here, you'll see the double op buckshot. Basically, that terminal ballistics looks like you're getting shot simultaneously with nine nine millimeter handguns. Mm -hmm. That is what the wound cavity looks like. I'll even drop in a quick nine millimeter bullet going through gel here so you can see. Yeah, that looks a lot alike. Yeah, it... And then we get to the slug, which is basically a 69 caliber ball going 1600 feet per second. And you'll mm -hmm. notice with both the slug and the buckshot out of this thing, the entire 22 pound block of gel does a complete backflip and falls off the table. Yeah. Not with this. This breaks nope. the table and it's got a decent sized... Yeah, there's a good sized temporary cavity and it, the gel moves a bit but it's not getting up and jumping off the table. And that's just from imparted energy. And at mm -hmm. any distance, that starts becoming just a straight little 22 caliber hole that goes through it. Yeah. Where this thing, the temporary cavity out of the slug, basically was the entire length of the block and the entire height of the block. It doubled so, the volume of the block. And even so much so, when it first hits the block, the block expands out of frame, so you can't even see how far it extended out. It's that insane. Yeah. Where this just right in the middle and that's the issue with some of the bullets out of this gun is mm -hmm. the actual terminal ballistics you have this thing called fleet yaw which means sometimes you'll get an early flip where the bullet breaks and sometimes you get a late flip where the bullet breaks and if you're not going fast enough it's not going to work yeah. but we have a whole nother series on that that we're still working on if you actually want to understand how that works but i'd rather get shot with that than one of these any day yeah if they pick the wrong bullet in this you're not gonna be nearly as badly hurt as if they just grab about anything beyond birdshot. Oh yeah, it, it's crazy to think, but there's a reason why our forefathers, this is basically what they used in the American Revolution because they had Pretty a 72 much. caliber musket and that's kind of about where you're at here and they were smooth bore, mm -hmm. just like this. Yeah, It if you're shooting a a slug through that smoothbore, it's coming out the same mass, the same velocity as those old black powder rifles. And keep in mind, they were using similar poundage of actual material going down range because they were using mostly ball. Mm -hmm. And they were using black powder, which kind of limited them to about the same velocity as you see out of a 12 gauge shotgun. Yeah. That's kind of the interesting thing about it, but I don't want to be down range of a 12 gauge ever. No. Bad days. But if you like this kind of content, Check out our Patreon if you want to help support it, because honestly, these gel blocks are expensive. Mm -hmm. Or just, you know, subscribe to the channel, like this video. We can do more stuff like it, and like I said, check out our series where we actually do terminal ballistics testing yep. on AR-15 bullets from various barrel lengths to see what the terminals actually look like, because if you're going to use it, you should know how it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different, different rifles perform very differently. Some of them don't even get terminal performance out the end of the barrel. Yeah. So, it's all about understanding what you're working with. Thanks for watching.